I remember everything. I remember every little thing as if it happened only yesterday. I was barely 17 and I once killed a boy with a Fender guitar. I don't remember if it was a Telecaster or a Stratocaster. But I do remember that it had a heart of chrome and a voice like a horny angel. I don't remember if it was a Telecaster or a Stratocaster. But I do remember that it wasn't at all easy. It required the perfect combination of the right power chords and the precise angle from which to strike. strike. The guitar bled for about a week afterward and the blood was dark and rich like wild berries. The blood of the guitar was Chuck Berry Red. The guitar bled for about a week afterward, but it rung out beautifully and I was able to play notes that I'd never even heard before. So, I took my guitar, and I smashed it against the wall! I smashed it against the floor! I smashed it against the body of a varsity cheerleader! Smashed it against the hood of a car! Smashed it against the 91 Harley Davidson! The Harley Harley Hey, the guitar howling heat! And I ran up the stairs to my parents' bedroom. Mommy and Daddy were sleeping in the moonlight. Slowly I opened the door, creeping in the shadows, right up to the foot of the bed. I raised the guitar high above my head, and just as I was about to bring the guitar crashing down upon the center of the bed, my father woke, screaming, Stop! Wait a minute! Stop it, boy! What do you think you're doing? That's no way to treat an expensive musical instrument! And I said, God damn it, Daddy! You know I love you, but you've got a hell of a lot to learn about, right?